basically it's a bit of a mess it's already almost six o'clock I've just been working away throughout the day um, making a little bit of progress I'm kind of jumping from one thing to another like I'm prepping buttons but I'm also doing the member rewards and for the member rewards for April which was the art gallery theme because I don't really have time to sit down and do really nice doodles I'm gonna give the members the art pals this like um, sketchbook well notebook more like because the paper is not really good for sketching it's good for pencils and just like regular note taking but I printed the drawing on per lesson paper I'm gonna keep this one because I don't like the size of the illustration so I'm just gonna use this for myself but yeah the back has my favorite drawings so it's this little notebook and I'm also gonna give them some old like art like originals that I've had for a long time yeah so they're gonna get the art gallery sticker set the print and the notebook and the original artwork and then my doodle pals are going to get a, co a print and they're going to get the stickers but instead of the doodle they're just going to get the print uh, they usually get a sticker set whatever stickers i make and doodle but because i don't have time to do a nice doodle i'm going to give them a print and the sticker set so that's what's going on right now i'm just seeing a change in size Ooh. i like the size better but i printed it on the wrong pearlescent paper darn it Here are the notebooks all cut up, nice and even, and I just need to round the corners. I really like this corner rounder, except it doesn't really do well with um, the mess. So, um, especially if you have a big stack and you're punching really hard, all the little pieces just come flying out. So yeah, just, yeah, that's just the, uh, I think they have a catcher for it when I bought it, but I didn't buy the catcher, I just bought this the machine. I'll do one for now. Okay, so here's everything. The print, the sticker, the notebook slash sketchbook. And then I have to select nine art pieces that I picked from my, my art storage. The art pals are going to get random, uh, the random originals. So the Yeah, these ones the from the stickers of the stickers the original drawings of the stickers and then i picked some some original artwork from like far as far back as like maybe 2019 and i needed some that would fit the envelopes that i have so it's about this size this is actually a page for my sketchbook so i hope that's not too rude but i really like this page so might as well share it with somebody instead of it being stored and this is an original page from uh, my comic Exodus. I really like that and I think it's really nice. So I'm gonna give that away This is also a deleted scene. I think from Exodus. I'm gonna cut it up and sign it and then these are some original Watercolor and pastel drawings. I did for a children's comic for chickadee uh, Maybe two years ago this one rejected, but not this one. I don't want that one. Oh, this was an unfinished drawing for Exodus I didn't finish the tiles. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to give that away because it's not finished, but it looks kind of nice already. Uh, yeah, more of that. I think it's really cute. I'm just going to cut it up so it'll fit nicely. And then here is another page from my sketch, my attempted sketchbook. I think it's really cute. And then there's these two that I just found, like this little portrait. That's actually of me, but <laughs> a loose interpretation. Where's that other one? Uh, oh here here's more another page from my sketchbook another one and uh, not not this one because I kind of covered drawing in the back with that uh, this one the gouache drawing I can't find the other one I think I might have given it away but yeah so I have a nice selection here so I'm just gonna randomly choose cut and stuff and it's that time again to replace the ink I wish I had one of those continuous ink systems that just connected to the ink tanks, but oh well. <laughs> uh, I'm really sorry that a lot of the vlog footage is taken like in the evening when the sun is going down and it's always dark in my room. So I apologize about that. But um, 
was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I so I pulled out the art that I was gonna include into the art pals, but I just found out, well, I guess I just remembered. I have nine art pals and I have nine original sticker drawings. So I'm just gonna give them the original drawings. I cut them up nicely, I rounded the corners so they look like little paintings and I signed them all. So yeah, I'm just gonna give these because they they are more in line with the theme and look how cute they are all rounded, edged and, and signed. Look at this tiny one. So yeah, I'm just gonna give these instead of the ones that the original artwork that I showed. But if any future art pals saw something that they liked in that stack, just message me on Discord or on YouTube. Just let me know what you want and I'll slip it into your next package if you are going to be an art pal for the next cycle. So yeah, um, cute! Cute! Look how tiny and cute! It's kind of weird when I was signing this one because this is Van Gogh's, like, it's a fan art of Van Gogh's art. But I'm signing it with my signature, so that's kind of funny. I'm packing the Doodle Pals now so they get a print. And I fold the tissue paper over and grab it. Put the sticker here. Then I grab a cardboard backing and I put it in the envelope. That's how it looks like. Print, sticker, backing, done. Oh, and this is, I'll show you the art pals. They're not in their envelopes and address yet, and I'm gonna write a note for each of one, each of them. But, um, so it has the notebook or sketchbook, the print, the drawing, the stickers, and the, uh, please consider reusing this packaging, because I opted to go for cello bags, because I will be putting them in paper envelopes today, or this time. My envelopes always change depending on the sizes of stuff, just because, yeah. But yeah. It was all ready to be packed and addressed, but I'm gonna do the Doodle Pals. I'm using my sticker book. It has come in handy. I've been using a lot of stickers. So I put some stickers on the little notes that I wrote to my art pals. Just like the, I used the flower ones because I thought it was appropriate. And the washi tape I'm using is from the sample pack I got from the sticker book manufacturer. So yeah, look, they're ready to go. I do want to round the corners. I always want to round the corners, but I think he's okay. He's cute. Thank you guys. Thank you.
now 12.20, I decided I wanted to design a mermaid sticker for sticker app. Um, I didn't necessarily have to, but anyway, they contacted me over Instagram DMs and said, Hey, we will print you stickers for free if you um, post about us once we receive your stickers. And I was like, free stickers? Yes, okay, I will do this. So I sent them, they were like looking for stickers, uh, mermaid stickers for May if I had any. And I'm like, I don't have any really. I have some old ones, but... Um, so anyway, I made this, as you saw in the speed paint. I quite like it. Um, and yeah, I, I, they said I, they said um, they would print out three designs. So I, had, I was like, okay, so I'll give this one, I, a mermaid one. And then I decided I wanted to see if I can convert my old Bat Lady doodle into a sticker. So I did, but I'm not sure about the colors. Uh, it's very difficult with making something as graphic as this um, and having the colors work out. I feel like the dark colors too are really difficult. Like she's wearing a black dress and um, all the lines, all the lines are consistently blue. So and I didn't give this, but it might need a rework. I do like the drawing. Maybe if the moon wasn't there and it was just her and her, her bat friend. I don't know, but it's this is not going. I just sent this one and I also sent off the Katsu sticker uh, for them to print because I really like that one. And I also sent the slime boba sticker for them to print. So I sent those three. And yeah, um, what do you guys think of these stickers? I like, I like this one. Um, yeah, but the colors are just kind of too weird. I had the moon originally the same color as her hair, but I thought it was just way too light. So now I'm thinking maybe if I get rid of the moon and it's just her, I wonder what that will look like. But yeah, their their maximum size was four by four inches, four by four inch stickers. So this is pretty big, but we'll see what they say. I just emailed them, so I'm not sure. All right, um, I'm probably gonna head to bed because I have work tomorrow. I have work for the next two days because I was off for the last two days. Um, but yeah, um, good night. Thank you guys for, yeah, what do you think? I like the, I like this fish. Look at him. He's so innocent looking. He's just so cute. Hello, it is Saturday about 3.15, May the 7th, and I'm here working in front of my desk. Um, I was actually dressed up this morning because I went to like a little lunch celebration with some family but I'm back now and I've changed straight back into my pajamas. Yeah, sorry, I don't look very presentable. Uh, I'm still pretty sleepy. I woke up fairly early because it was a lunch and I usually sleep in on a Saturday so I might even like crawl back into bed after I finish working on this but I'm working on another zine. I started zine slash comic i guess it's more more like a zine it's like the tight places zine that i did back in 2020 um yeah i wrote it last night i'll show you the sketches in a bit but i wrote it last night finished writing it last night with a little bit of sketching and then now i, I just scanned it and i'm now editing the pages there's about 18 pages so and it's really simple like black and white inks it's not very long i'm editing a bunch of the the black ink where I have to fill it in. Yeah, I'm using Photoshop to fill in a lot of the black color, the black spaces. Uh, but uh, we'll see how it works out. I could get, I'll probably get this done before the end of the day. And this is gonna be for TCAF. So I don't know if I'm gonna print it out for VanCAF because I already have too much on your plate for VanCAF. So I might save this for like a fresh release for TCAF. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm working on this right now. I'll show you guys the cover. I haven't done the cover yet, but it's probably just gonna be one of the drawings in the interior of the pages, like, like my type places zine. So it's not gonna take very long unless an idea comes to my head. So just working on that and I need some water. I'm gonna refill my water bottle. Oh, and I cut myself. I just grabbed a new recycling bag from the kitchen cupboard and then when I think I grazed my finger on like like a panel that was unfinished so it just cut me up but I don't even have the right bandage for it. It was bleeding really but really badly but it's good that it doesn't really affect my drawing so it's, it's not bad.
authors. It is a really incredible history of just how different American culture was 25 years ago. And a big part of Chuck's thesis is that we can now clearly state that the 1990s were the critical decade marking the transition between the modern, computer-driven world that we all inhabit today and the much more technologically limited world. I'm getting sleepy, so I'm gonna go downstairs and maybe I'll pop on a movie and then take a nap. I don't know. I'm back at my desk now after a nice long nap. It's already 9 o'clock, but I'm gonna continue working on this zine. And um, the title is still kind of at works right now, but I'll figure it out as I finish it. Um, yeah, I had a good nap. It was a good nap. It was a good nap. It's been a while since I had a nice nap. So, yeah. Okay. Let's continue working on this. I'm on page nine out of I have no idea. Um, but I will continue on. So near on here. Oh God, where are my scans? on the phone with her mom, a hammer that's sitting on a counter falls into the wall and makes this loud, hollow sound. So it intrigues Anna. She's like, how did that happen? Obviously, there's like some room down there or something. So she opens up the cabinet and she finds an opening to a basement. And this is where these people held their torture subjects. Not bad. Not too bad. I did a zine in 24 hours. It's um, my InDesign file says it is 20 pages, but I don't count the about page that I always include at the end. So, so let's say it was 18 pages, but it's called At the End by Joy San. And I print, I, yeah, I, I wrote this last night uh, pretty late, went to bed, and then I did the inking and then the editing today. So I took the whole day, but I finished it. So it's pretty much a 24 hour zine. And yeah, this is it. At the end, it's completely black and white. So it's gonna be an easy print. Um, the bleeds inside don't really work that well, but it's just a short one. So I'm not gonna sell it for very, very, not gonna sell it too pricey. It's similar to my smaller size zines. So yeah. Good morning. I have my hair up. Um, it is now Sunday after well not good morning Sunday afternoon I intend to do a lot of con prep today. It's such a nice day outside too, but I intend to do a lot of con prep But um, yeah, it's already two o'clock because I was working on other more admin things in the morning the first thing I did was um, Do my listings for the TCAF digital marketplace because I'll be selling uh, physically and also via their online store so I had to upload the listings that I was going to sell there so I submitted listings for the sticker book cryptid camp cryptid uh, the new zine at the end and also too much on your plate so four things to sell on the digital marketplace I had to upload like a description some photos uh, how much I intend to sell and like the estimated weights and stuff because they're they're going to do the shipping for me so yeah, so I did that. That took a little bit because I had to take photos. I didn't take photos of the new zine. And then I did, I finally did, it's a little late, I did the reward announcement for May for my member. So that's online. I'm going to be, the rewards are going to be a copy of Too Much on Your Plate and at the end zine. I was debating on whether or not I would do the zine as a reward when I could save it for next month. But I'm going to do two, the comic and the zine for the art pal club plus a sticker and the doodle and then for the doodle pal club they're going to get a copy of the zine and a sticker so that's the reward so if you pledge by the 31st you'll get that yeah so i had to get that done because i usually try to get that done in the beginning of the month so people have enough notice of what they're going to get if they intend to sign up as a member but anyway so that's all finished and now i am going to go full steam with printing and cutting and binding and stapling. I basically haven't really touched anything here since Friday when I got back from work because I decided to do another zine, this one. So yeah, let me just get organized here. I thought it was time to pull out the baggage that I was going to use for the convention. So it's this one and it measures the right size for 
the um, for our airlines it's about uh, it's like 158 centimeters total linear dimensions or I can forget 62 but it matches it's just I have a 50 pound weight limit so ugh, I don't know if I'm gonna bring my my thingies here but I would I need to fit my convention stuff but also some personal items because oh yeah I have to measure measure the we are we're allowed one checked bag which I have to pay for actually and each of us gets a personal item, which is probably a backpack. And I can fit most of my uh, clothes there, but I'm, we might have to fit some personal items in this convention bag. So I needed to pull it out to just kind of see what I'm working with. I'm using the notebook that I made for that was extra for myself, um, just to put in all the tea calf and van calf details. Uh, but yeah, personal bag is good. Check bag is good. I just wanted the measurements, and yeah, so. I am printing out more comic pages. You tried to call Scarlett, but she didn't answer her phone. This has haunted her ever since, because she feels like if she answered that call, he might still be alive. Scarlett tells those around her that finding the stone would be a monumental archaeological discovery, but a true moment. It is here that she runs into someone hanging with a bag or a pillowcase over their head. She pulls the item off to find an image of herself hanging instead of her father. This could be a visual representation of her guilt, or the visual representation of her desire to take his place. On her trip back to George, after returning the stone, she runs into her father hanging. But instead of running away or denying what she had done, she... No! It's bad it's confusing messaging. You always say that this is hell. Be clear. Be clear. Be clear. Be Print, 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 cut, 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 print, cut, cut, print, print, cut, 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 print, 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 cut. So what? I've been thinking a lot about nostalgia recently. Specifically, nostalgia are the things that shape my love of horror. The old scares that sent tingles down my spine during my formative years. What sinister thrills were contained from the tapes inside? I'm talking the brain, ghoulies, Evil Dead 2, Zombie 2, Jack Frost, and Silence of the Lambs. My dad actually owned a small video store when I was a kid, and sometimes I'd spend the day there with him. Personally, I always hated walking past American Psycho, this version of the cover specifically. Something about Patrick Bateman's pose and eye mask put me on edge. But even uh, downright dark. He shoots him. Clubs him, crushes him, electrocutes him, deletes him from existence. He literally just shivs him in this one. And in another, <laughs> he's shown callously wiping blood from his rapier. Don't worry, Don't think oh you'd God. get away with that in a commercial nowadays. Yeah, it certainly gave me a good laugh, Jim. Even if they did upset a few developing minds in the process. Welcome. I think most countries have at least one true crime show that could be described without crime. The contents of these shows were horrifying enough, especially with those uncanny recreations. Lies. And the puppet itself, absolutely terrifying, has a deep, scratchy voice, and he would sometimes appear out of nowhere to stalk the two main characters. It is a big though that the genital all of the tooth But apparently, young me was convinced that fairies equal angels, and angels are dead people. Nothing like the thought of a dead person wanting to take my teeth. Actually, that's a problem. What were these fairies supposed to be doing with all these teeth? Explains the complexity of the human mind. I became this after. But there was another similar artist, however, operating at nearly the exact same time period as Coolidge. Out of staples already? In England. His name was Lewis William Wayne, an artist who earned admiration and national fame for creating anthropomorphic domestic cats in a very similar playful cartoon style to that of Cassius Coolidge. However, if he were ever to work in the textiles industry, and his French mother, Felicia Marie, he was the first to see the I've been cutting the too much on your plate by myself with my ruler and my box cutter. 
because I don't want to mess up. The guillotine some is really great, but sometimes I can't see exactly where the cut line is. Um, so I'm cutting it all by myself just because it's just easier for me to be a bit more accurate this way, which is kind of strange, but that's what I gotta do. I don't want to mess these up because if I mess it up, I waste a lot of ink and paper and time. I still really like this sequence in a garden view. I really like that panel. I also really like this face. <sighs> Just reminiscing. <laughs> I wrote this one after we just bought our house so the garden view is pretty much what my window looks like downstairs a big window and then I put all my plants in front of it and that's what the that's what it is that's what she set up her little garden right there it's funny <laughs> I don't really mind showing the interior of the garden view because it's you can actually read this for free if you dig down through my Twitter. I think I released all the pages so it's all public and you don't have to buy it. You can just read it for free online. Um, but if anybody wants a physical copy, that is really appreciated. So, yeah. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock and I just put together my new print um thing sorry the lighting is not very good but this is the display it's just gonna be like on an acrylic stand that i got from muji it's like an eight and a half by 11 or a nine by 12 i don't remember i have to dig it out wait actually let's see what size this thing is canvas size just please yeah this is a nine by 12 sheet of paper so um yeah these are the selection of prints i have some leftover from past conventions like this dinner one the rite of passage the frog one so i'm keeping those and then i have the new ones the penangal the drawer die bakery mooncake because i really like the mooncake one and the bat lady so those are the new ones and these are the prices uh the dinner ones and the rite of passage and drawer die are ten dollars because they're bigger and then the bakery ones and the other ones are five dollars because they're smaller so i'm cutting them all up and uh i'm i'm always kind of iffy about prints because i don't know what people are willing to pay for prints i think these are reasonably priced because i printed i'm, I'm printing them in house so they're printed on nice watercolor paper and i think they look pretty good but again like i don't really know like I'm not sure. So I think I priced them reasonably well. So yeah, so I'm cutting them up and then we'll see how much I can bring stock wise. Uh, I always aim, I'm aiming for 20 for prints. I, it's hard to print. I've been printing these things all day, but they take forever. Um, especially the too much on your plate because it's like 30 plus pages. So it's taking a while and they're pretty hefty. I think this is about 20 maybe i was aiming 30 but i don't know i don't know um then there's that i'm printing out covers for a garden view so a bunch of those printed i just finished printing out a bunch of the dental plans i don't remember how much how many there are right here but yeah i'll do my stock after i print most of the covers up there they're next i don't know if i'm gonna print out any more stuff for story because I have this one copy, but I'm kind of getting sick of printing. Plus, I feel like this guy needs a break. He does get a break at night. He's not when I'm or when I'm at work, so he doesn't he doesn't print when I'm at work or when I'm sleeping. So I think he's all right. But yeah, I have to print out more prints. I haven't even started printing out bakery ones, but um, yeah. Okay, continue. I think I'm gonna end it for the night. Um, I haven't even made it to 15 copies, so. I don't know, maybe I'll stop with 20 and then bring whatever I can bring weight-wise. But yeah, the ones on top here are the display copies. They're actually damaged, so this one has a weird thing there. I, I wet it by accident, so now it's a display copy. And this one printed weird, it has lines, so display copy. This one is actually not bad, all of these are good. But I had to pick a display copy and I don't have some old copies of this, so... This is it. These are actually removable. So if anybody ends up wanting to buy the display copy, if I run out and they don't mind it, uh, then I can just take off these stickers and they can be sold. 
Yeah, the display copies are on top. So, oh, this one I need to, oh, there it is. So, yeah, but I think I'm going to end it for the night because it's already 11.30 and I have work tomorrow. So, I'm just going to clean up this mess here and then, look, I have a display copy of the sticker book. But, I don't know if I should show this as a display copy because I have been using the pages so people can't really see the first page. But, I don't know yet. So, yeah. Hey guys, I just literally walked in the door from work. It's um, Monday, May the 9th. And yeah, I just got back home and I have a package and I thought we should open it together before I change out of my office clothes just so I don't look like frumpy as I have been looking for the last couple days. Anyway, let's open this up. Well, that was quick. I think it's in this vlog where I actually designed the sticker that's in here. This is from Sticker App and um, so they they DM'd me to make uh, to get free stickers in exchange. I do an Instagram post or a Twitter post, but I thought I'd also do a YouTube. Well, I'll, I'd add it in the vlog. So let us see how this thing looks like. So there's 300 stickers in here. There's three designs that I submitted. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's, that's it, I think. Oh, there's one more thing here. Oh, <laughs> it's for Mermaid, so that is so cute. This is a, we are grateful to be printing your stickers. If you love stickers as much as we do, please give them a shout. Who's the artist for this? Emma Fox. How cute, look at this. So it's Mermaid themed. <laughs> That's adorable, look at that one. Okay, so these designs you've seen, but they are, this one is their vinyl, I think. They even asked me for my logo, so I just gave them that. But this is the regular vinyl, and this is in hollow. Let's open up the vinyl for now. Oh, that's really cool. Reaction when opening sticker pack. Yes, no. Handling of stickers, yes, no. <laughs> Placement of stickers, yes, no. Applying stickers keep this do not eat <laughs> that's really fun okay all right so this is the vinyl let's just take out one. Oh, there we are really good quality let's one out here wow very nice so very shiny this is the vinyl Definitely better than what I would cut, but that's really cool. Comes in nice packaging to be like all organized. Okay, and then this is the boba one, but in hollow. I wish it would say what kind of a thing it is because I already forgot. I didn't choose these by the way. They decided what to do. I said whatever you want. <laughs> so this is in hollow. I've never done a hollow sticker before just because of the cost, but oh, that's so cool. Look how... Jesus. Look how shiny that is. Even my camera's like, what's going on? Yeah, so look at these hollow stickers. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. Oh, it kind of, it's so crazy. It's like a strobe effect in my eye. Yeah, so I got that. And then this is the new sticker that I designed. I designed it just for their mermaid. And it's a huge sticker. Look at this. This is done in hollow as well. It's kind of crazy they did two hollow versions or two hollow stickers. Ew, look at that. It's also, is it an easy peel? Oh, look, it even has a seam at the back, so it's easy to peel. I'm, I don't want to peel it yet. Oh, that looks so cool. So this is the hollow there that they did. And then <laughs> I showed you, I think, the one I designed. So uh, they shrunk it a little bit. And the colors are different just because it's in a hollow version, but I kind of like both. What do you guys think? That looks so cool. Let's actually peel one up. I'm going to put it on my... Where should I put it? Hmm. I'm actually going to try it on my agenda. Look, it has a coffee stain. So let's cover up that coffee stain with this new sticker. Okay. Um, is it an easy peel? I don't think so. Oh, it's not, but it's also not transparent. Whoa, 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 wee, wow, wee. Good quality too, to the feel. 
few of the stickers are very nice. Cool. I've never done a sticker like this before. So I have been looking before they contacted me. I was actually looking at a place to get stickers professionally printed and cut just because like I don't want to be giving people my quality of cutting forever. And if I am able to afford it, um, that would be cool. So I was looking at their um, website actually. And then coincidentally, they DM me on Instagram and I said, yeah, totally. So yeah, so this is sticker app. Check them out. I think uh, they might be having a promo or a sale, but um, I'm very happy with these how these turned out. And I'm gonna be reserving these for um, the cons. The stickers I've I've cut myself. They're still really nice. They're still weatherproof matte. But I'm gonna be selling these at a little bit more expensive just because they're really nice quality. And in the future, I'll probably purchase from sticker app. But very cool yeah so check them out look at these really cute stickers <laughs> and check out emma fox as well oh you want the code here get the code oh no that's the code just to try out the glitter so it's 10 percent off until the end of may cool okay thank you sticker up uh I'll definitely check them out here, still on the tripod, but I just looked on the floor and I came to see this. Ah, my fig leaf. Ah, I don't know if this is a sign that it's dying or it's it's growing. I've been waiting for a new thing to grow out, so I'm not sure what's happening. It looks fairly healthy. I've been waiting for a nubbin to come out. I've been watching it, but nothing has been happening. Doing okay, I guess I'll keep watching it. There hasn't been any new growth, so I'm a little bit worried. But look, it looks pretty healthy. I haven't been touching it, I've been watering it consistently, but a leaf just came out. Hmm. I'll just keep watching it, stay where it's supposed to be. That's where it usually is. So it gets a lot of light, but not direct light, and I do water it pretty frequently and I just like watch it but no growth hmm. <laughs> <gasps> oh we gotta do it again you gotta replace the ink <sighs> come on uh, these might still be okay but I don't want to push it too far where the ink is already gone and I'm like halfway through a comic print that's just gonna be the worst so um I'm gonna, I'd rather refill them before they completely run out. And I'm pretty sure my magenta is almost out. Oh, actually, it's not bad. Oh, yeah, look at this light magenta. Almost gone. So, gotta refill these babies up again. All replaced. And my hands have been looking like this for the last couple weeks. So, it's clean. It's just stained. So, if you see my fingers, it's just stained from the inking replacement. <laughs> da, 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 da. My corner rounder is pretty good, but it does, depending on how I cut these, because I cut these manually, it doesn't get the edges, so I do have to come in with my manu other one, my other corner rounder, to just round out those edges a little bit more. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I actually got that um, corner rounder through an Amazon gift card from my boss in like Christmas of 2019 I think when um, the pandemic was like full on they couldn't like everybody couldn't really get gifts so they I got a lot of gift cards and my boss gave me like two Amazon gift cards and I used a bunch of them up for some studio supplies and one of them was this corner rounder because I always use my corner rounder and having this now is really helpful because it goes through a lot of paper. It's very sharp. Yeah. It does take up a bit of space, but what can you do? I honestly don't know how this these sticker sets are going to do. Um, I have three of them so far. Uh, I have three of them. I have this art gallery one, I have the squonks, and I have the bakery one. But I don't know how 
what they'll sell. And I was like kind of concerned about the fact that a lot of these don't show. They're sets, right? But they they're sets, so they don't really show. I don't I don't have a man. I can't talk. I don't have a way to showcase what the stickers are inside. I was thinking maybe I should leave like a a sample pack out, but then I'd have to like watch it every time somebody takes out the stickers to look at them just in case you know one falls out or one sneaks them a person like takes one or something and then i'm like oh i don't have the complete set to show so um i was concerned about that but i'm opting not to really worry about it it's gonna be so i'm gonna sell it for three dollars these um stickers because they're paper stickers i think i have them on my shop was three dollars but i don't remember i have to really check my my online shop to kind of match the prices although I'm gonna say now the sticker books that I bring to Vancouver I'm not gonna bring a lot of sticker books so I'm gonna sell them at a higher price I'm gonna be selling them at $30 per book instead of 25 just because of the cost of bringing them over to Vancouver um, but I will add a freebie for whoever buys the sticker book. I'm, I'm still not sure how many I'm gonna bring. Hopefully you can hear me with all the stapling and the printing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know how, how much I'm gonna bring. I might end up just bringing like 30 because of all the other comics that I'm gonna carry with me. I'm a little bit concerned about the weight, but I can't tell for sure un until I finish printing what I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring. So that's what I'm waiting on is just getting all these books printed out so I can organize them and um, pack them away and then weigh everything together so yeah I don't remember being this concerned about the weight of the stuff I was bringing last time I went to Vancouver I think it was because the the airline ticket that we bought last time included a checked bag and then also a carry-on so I wasn't really worried this time it's just a personal item and I have to pay for this checked bag so it's a bit more concerning or a bit I need to think about it a little bit more I guess I should say uh, yeah so just doing these it's now 11 20 I think I'm gonna tuck in for the night I did just I did have a work day today so I didn't really have much time to do anything but i have a full day tomorrow for the most part we have kickboxing tomorrow so but i have the whole day so um yeah it's it's kind of getting there it's nice to see the comics having covers although these display copy stickers are coming off they are removable so i expected that but um yeah it's coming together i like seeing all the covers uh, story I need to print out a bunch of covers because I was working on printing out the interiors and five copies of this took about an hour I think more I'm not even sure but it took a while uh, so I have to print out five more copies tomorrow and then start on the covers I have so I can have at least 10 copies so far uh, for these guys I have about 10 or 11 copies I don't know if I'm gonna make more it would be good if I do because I can have some for TCAF but I think pretty good progress on those I like seeing the stacks I think I mentioned that in an earlier clip but I have the zines I think I'm done printing out a bunch of these there's about 10 again or 15 of them and then uh, yeah so I also printed out a bunch of the all the 12 of witches I loved before and these were printed out with my brother printer oh don't look at that it's a mess there's like a stack of stuff on top of it um, yeah, but the black and white prints, uh, zines, I usually print out with my brother printer because it is a laser printer and it prints out uh, really fast and also the, the blacks are very nice and um, crisp. Uh, so yeah, so I also printed out a copy of the uh, copies of the new zine. I'm not going to bring very much of this. I have 10, about 10 or 11 in this stack. I like to print out in 10, so um, yeah, and then I like to squeeze into tight places. Uh, and then these are my books just so I pulled them out. These are display copies from before. I pulled them out of my luggage. So yeah, um, so I have Plateful. I have drawings. This is the first one, the second one. And then I have a bunch of out of body copies. Oh yeah, the Mukbang One Zine, Shopao Queen. And then I'm still cutting out some prints, which will I, I will have about 10 of each print with me. So not very much stock wise, just because I have, um, 
limited space and I have a lot and then I also have a stack of stickers that I still need to cut out uh, here is my progress on the stickers I have them in this box I'm gonna transfer them to a different box when I bring them over but I need to print out a bunch more uh, cut out a bunch more of bakery I did pretty good with the art gallery ones and then a couple more of the cries and oink um, and then buttons. I'm kind of getting worried about buttons. I have the sets. I need to make more of the toasty. Uh, I'm worried about the individual set because, uh, not the individual sets, I meant individual buttons because I have slots and I don't like seeing empty slots here. So I don't know. I have to think about what to do to fill them. Either I fill them with individual copies of, um, toasty or just individual copies of like the babushka the ramen and the familiar not totally sure what i'm gonna do yet so this is something i have to deliberate about but i think yeah i'm gonna end it for tonight and we shall continue prepping and printing tomorrow i'm gonna give the printer a break before i tuck in i thought i'd show you the the print sign which is uh yeah <laughs> i feel like it's small compared to the acrylic stand but there are these like little screws here so i don't want to make it too big so this is what it looks like i still have to print out a bunch of bakery i haven't even started that but i did put the names of the prints so when people want to say ask for what it is they don't they won't be like the one with the frogs the one with the the lady so it's labeled the penangal so write a passage yeah so and i even have the square thing at the bottom so cool yeah these are all the stuff i have to sort through these like these signs are outdated i'm gonna sell my washi tape for cheap so i can um, get rid of a bunch of that washi tape Ooh, and i have some old copies of my look at this tablecloth it's so cute i can't wait to use it um oh i have some old copies of my business card this is my first um well not first business card but my older one, I have the yellow one where she's jumping into the goo. This one, I'm jumping into pizza. I really like the design of this and I tried to maintain it for the next card. So once I, go, once I run out of all these, I'm going to probably make new ones depending. But yeah, I still really like this one. Running and jumping into a pizza. Good morning. It's now the next day and I'm, <laughs> I'm just printing out more comics. Um... Yeah, but I can I can see the finish line with the stock that I'm preparing to bring. So hopefully in my next studio day, which is a Thursday, I can stage my table just to practice how it's going to look like and if everything will work out. And also put everything into my luggage and weigh that and see finally what I can actually bring. Uh, because I want to have, I don't want to be like... Um, con prepping down the wire when we leave on the 18th i want at least two days where i can just pack leisurely i want to do my nails for the trip so i don't want to be like prepping and prepping until we have to go so yeah um i'm gonna go full steam today and i also woke up pretty early i started editing the vlog for this week the one you're watching right now and it's gonna be long we're gonna be doing long vlogs every week for a little bit because of con prep i'm just quite busy and I can't upload, edit and upload two vlogs a week, so they're going to be long vlogs. And so yeah, um, just prepping away. These are the removable stickers that I purchased from the dollar store. They're really helpful, um, and I'm just using Sharpie to write down the prices. I'm thinking of doing like a stand with um, my prices also. Uh, the prices are going to be right on the display copies for the comics, but I think uh, just another sign will be help for, for helpful for people um, like looking through my table. I'm now going to take photos for the sticker app thing of the stickers. Hold out my shiny glittery paper. And then I'm going to use my pom poms and also my lobster. <laughs> this is the only see thing that I have and the pom-poms I just want to use Here's a couple of these oh they're so cute and in the sticker I'm probably gonna do a reel just because reels are 
uh, hot on Instagram right now. And I don't get any views other than when I post reels. And not very many views anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I don't mind filming and editing. I like editing. Let's use a couple of these confettis. This paper confetti. Lobster. Oh, yeah, I have this um, rabbit mermaid that I uh, uh, won at a Palladium arcade. So I'm going to put this in the corner. I'm not sure it's going to show. And I pulled out some of the hearts that I typically use because they are cute. Okay, I don't want to overwhelm the sticker. Lobster in this photo. I got warm. I'm done. I posted it on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I used that like really trendy song where that British guy is rapping about his money, how his money doesn't jiggle jiggle but it folds. It's very catchy. So I thought it would be cute. Would be cute. Um, yeah, so I'm done that. I needed to get that off of my list because I promised to do so. really like these pom-poms. I wish there was a pack where it was just not pink, maybe like colors like my confetti, just pastel cute colors. But this works. So now I can continue with prepping because I wanted to get this done. Here is what the stinky button looks like. <laughs> I was hoping for the paper. I thought it looked more purple than it was, uh, but it's a bit more like a blue purple, but it's okay because I think that the purple, violet, and red look good together, but this is fine. Anyway, here's Stinky, and I made uh, 12 of him because I could print 12 backings on a sheet, so I don't know if I'm going to make more. <sighs> I bet some people are like, why are you making like numbers like this? Why can't they all be even? Like 10 instead of 12, but you know, that's what happens, but stinky. Alright, I'm packing some toasties, and I'm just doing 10 of these, so I needed 3 more. But this is what they look like, and then I have to do the, the labels, which I already have some printed from a while back. You have to trim. I don't know, I still am kind of not sure about the whole individual button thing because I want to fill those slots, but I don't know what to fill them with. But anyway, I'll keep thinking about it. And here they are. Toasty. Sorry for the belly shots. <laughs> I'm just bringing 10 of the sushi in total because um, I remember they weren't as popular as the raccoon ones, but here they are in their little sushi board. And then and then once I run out of these cello bags, I've had these cello bags for a while. Once I run out of these, I'm not gonna come back with these sushi sets because they look really nice in these. So once I run out, I'm not gonna order more of the plastic. So they're gonna be gone. Chopsticks. Same with the raccoon. So it's it's time to replace it anyway. And for a change. I feel like buttons don't get enough love. I think they're really cute. I love putting them on my hat, on my jacket. Enamel pins I'm a bit more afraid of losing, I guess. But I feel like the buttons are nice. There's even like button makers that are heart shaped, which are really cool, but I'm happy with my round one. 
and uh, I need to do some another babushka back in, I think. I want to get the buttons done so I don't have to worry about them. Okay, so I think this is it for me for buttons. I'm going to put the stickers on top so I can save space. Um, but yeah, I have a 10 of the toasty set. I have the leftover strange cats and there's only four of those. I have the leftover Timmy's ones that are right here and there's only four of those I didn't remake. I have 10 sushis. I have uh, 20 of the raccoon set. Uh, the shiny familiar one, which is one of my favorite buttons, I have, um, uh, I think 10. So 10 of those, 10 of the babushkas, 10 of the ramen, 10 of uh, 12 of stinky because I had 12 backings to fill. So there's 12 of those. And, um, and that's it. Oh yeah, yeah, did I say ramen? Look at this one. The, I ran out of the nice red backing for that, but that's fine. Uh, and like these are gonna sell for a dollar they're the same price as my buttons without the backing but I think the backing contextualizes what the buttons are and I they're more attractive to people so like this one without the backing it just looks kind of weird but if I put a title in a backing I think it's a bit more um, attractive to customers so but but I'm not sure yet uh, so yeah that's it I'm gonna lay the stickers on top probably uh, hopefully if I can I just don't want to bend the these it's three o'clock and I'm hungry but we don't really have anything in the house because we don't want to buy groceries again before we leave for Vancouver so I'm gonna have to do some digging <laughs> see what I can eat but I also don't want to cook anything because I want to get stuff done ah uh, I might just eat a piece of naan. It's the last one. I wonder if I, I can put on it. I'm just gonna eat this. I made some um, Japanese uh, cabbage pancakes or okonomiyaki over the weekend. I wish I had vlogged it. Uh, so I have a lot of leftover cabbage. I don't want to make okonomiyaki right now. But um, I got the... When I was in Toronto last, I went to the Japanese store and I got the okonomi sauce. This is the one just for the Japanese pancake and it was very good. So, too much effort though. Ugh. Look at this fridge. See, it's pretty empty. Got some green onions back here. The cabbage, uh, some leftover, leftover bok choy in there. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of apples and the zucchini has to be eaten. So, hmm. so this is the leftover cabbage that I should eat. Maybe I'll just have this with some dressing. I don't know. And then on. Ignore the background noise my kettle is going. But I made a tuna cabbage salad. I don't know if that's gross to anybody. Okay, I think it's time to start putting the comic books into their packages. Um, I want to avoid any bending or folding. Um, the bag is obviously, the baggage itself is obviously going to get thrown around in the airport. So, and in the plane. <laughs> So I have some backing cards here and these freezer bags that I'm going to put the books in just in case water gets in there, hopefully not, but okay. So here's a stack of dental plan. I'm just going to stick with the 12 copies because it's a lot and, and I'm done. I don't want to print anymore. I'm done printing. <laughs> I'm done here. I'm done. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm separating out the display copies because uh, when I set up, I pull out the display copies first to, you know, set up the table. And when I stage the table this week, I don't have to pull it out of the baggage. So there's 12 dental plans in here. And I have my, my thingy cardstock, which I think I might just cut to size. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna do a rough cut. Cut it, sort it to size. I'm putting it on that. And I have some rubber bands here. So I'm just gonna rubber band this up. Dental plan. I think it's excessive, but 
You never know. Okay, mental plan done. Let's do story next. So I separate out the display copy. I stuck them. I wonder how these are going to do. I mean, it is a comic convention, but please don't sit on me. I haven't really packed anything like this uh, going to a different province, so I've only really packed a lot of comics at TCAF, and that's a local convention, so I didn't have to do all this stuff. Okay, there's air in there. Story. I had this box in my suitcase, which was for some paper that I ordered quite a while ago, and look at that. All my comic books are underneath, and then there's another slot here for the rest of the zines. Let me just put this in properly. That honestly is getting a little bit folded. Do this. It was almost a nice fit. Shoot. Ah, success! I had to move some stuff around like Tetris it a bit, but look, all my zines and my comic books are in here, except for the display copies. Uh, but I don't know if I should. I actually have the lid for this too. Whoa! Comics! I was checking my books and I actually only have like four out of bodies left, including the display copy. And that one is actually reserved for somebody who I promised a copy for. So I have four left. Um, that's kind of crazy. I thought I had more left stack wise. So. Wow, that's cool. I didn't. I wasn't keeping track. Maybe I should double check. Yeah, that's all I have, including the display. Ooh, crazy! And I checked my store envy if anybody ordered it with this sticker book, and nobody did. So, it's pretty much sold out. If three people buy it at Van Caff, it's gone. Oh man, I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> but it's been a it's been a couple years. So when did this come out? 2018. So. Maybe it's time to make another bound book soon. Okay, so I have two stacks left of um, drawings and plateful, so definitely enough for Van Calf, but I want to make sure I have some left over for Store Envy uh, because I know a couple people did purchase it. So I'm just going to bring 10 of each plateful and drawings. There's 20 sticker books in this reused um box uh yeah <laughs> all right i wore socks so you wouldn't look at my feet <laughs> this is with the camera so it's 120.8 i don't have a weighing thing for baggage so i'm just going to use my weight and then carry it so let's see we are where we are at this is not full yet it has most of my comic books and zines and this 20 sticker books and um, the art books and a couple copies of the out of body. So let's see. Peek. Ugh. 156.4. That weighs about 35 pounds, which is not bad. I have some room. Basically, I might, I'm gonna add more sticker books. And then what's left is the stickers and the buttons. Oh no, the buttons are actually in there, just not the stickers. And then the rest of my materials, such as scissors and tape and wire cubes. But I'm not sure if I'm going to bring my... Would you call these wire cubes? I don't know. I still have to stage, but I really wanted to get an idea of where I'm at. And I'm pretty happy with that. So that's like a weight off my shoulder, literally. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so this is what it looks like in here. So this box has all my comics and my zines. Uh, yeah, comics and my zines. This has the sticker books, the art, the two art books. Out of body is in here as well. These are all the button sets. And then I have my acrylic stand and then my display copies. I have my tablecloth. I'm actually washing my black tablecloth right now because it's been a while. So I wanted to kind of wash it, defluff it and all that kind of stuff. And there's a bunch more room here. So what I'm going to do now, I think, is I'm going to stage. No, I'm not going to stage. Oh yeah, I have to add my prints in here. Okay, so I'm back at my desk now and I'm going to take a moment to organize all of the, my, my little convention bag. I got this from Alyssa a long time ago. 
Um, but I'm just going to organize what I have in here and, and then I'm going to work on the price list and then I'm going to finish up editing the vlog because I had edited I had edited it a little bit this morning so I'm going to finish it up. It's quite long already. I'm going to add the clips that I took here. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. My table looks like now now that all the comics are gone but don't you think I'm done printing? I have TCAF right after so I'm still going to be printing as much as I can. I'm just I, I would just like to see it clear for a little bit and then I'm going to begin printing again uh, for TCAF. I don't know how much comics I'm going to be selling at VanCAF so depending on stock lef levels we shall see but um, it's kind of nice to see some space here and I have this like box that I kept that I'm going to put some stuff in there. Probably stickers. I'm not sure. These are all my prints. Um, kind of a weird organization but it's been I've been used doing this for a while so it really works out I have to cut the rest of these bakery ones and shove them in there and then this is the pile of stuff for my conventions my convention like random things so like a business card stand tape washi tape a bunch of pens and clips and then these acrylic stands the, these I actually got at Vancouver when I was there last I dropped by like a Daiso looking store and then I have my lights which I don't know if they still function or not. Hopefully, well, they still do. So yeah, uh, just gonna take a while and organize this. Okay, people, the vlog is now about an hour and seven minutes long at this point. So I'm gonna end it here. Uh, the next vlog is gonna have me practicing staging my table and uh, of probably the last few bits of con prep and then I have to figure out what to upload when I'm away but I will find something I hope you enjoyed this very long vlog of me just kind of running around doing multiple things at once I hope um, everything works out editing this vlog I, I've seen all the work that I've done like I hope I'm just like having thoughts again <laughs> that my my baggage is gonna like disappear or like catch on fire or something um, yeah, so pray for me that that doesn't happen. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. Um, yeah, more con prep. More, uh, more, more con prep, most likely. But yeah, thanks again so much for watching if you've made it to this point. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great rest of your week. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. It serves as a way for me to look at the, how the colors turned out and they look perfect. The colors look perfect. I actually did not convert anything to CMYK, which is, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but I'm just printing it on my own. So this are all, these pages are all in 